This is my school. One hundred and fifty years of good mornings and evenings. Of running races with friends. Of climbing a hundred stairs to see my favorite face. Of blackboards and blue fingers. Or that feeling that comes with recess. One hundred and fifty years of lunch boxes always meant to be shared. Of hiding your favorite book in the library so you could read it again. And being in awe of the million trophies in the principal's office. This is my school that never let me be a backbencher. Because red, yellow, blue and green were all the colors I would ever need to understand life. This is my school. This is my Stanislaus. You made me believe that I was different. That I was born for greater things. Sesquicentennial. That means that our school is 150 years old. And that means that it has a great foundation. Even my daddy studied in this school. And even our dads. Our teachers are very nice and they teach us very differently. They teach us about rules and to respect our elders. Yes, our methods are changing. We want to find the perfect way of teaching by using practical methods and actual material. Once there was a farmer and he was passing by a field. Customized training and creative teaching, that's the key to making a subject come alive. And sometimes even a story can help. Stanislaus Hockey is the best. We have better coaches and excellent training. In fact, we have won the Junior Aga Khan Cup 31 times. Basketball and football are amazing. We have a large court for basketball and a huge ground for football. Even cricket is amazing. In fact, we also had a cricket camp with Johnny Rhodes team. You know, I always love science, but could never understand the practicality and the reasons behind it. What would happen if you mix these chemicals? Why do people in villages fall sick to such strange diseases? In our science projects, we get to carry out all these experiments in our labs and find out how things really work. I hope to become a doctor or a scientist one day and show how a Stanislite like me can change the world. Learning various computer skills has helped me to open my mind to the possibilities of what I can do. In our school, we learn how to program in C++ and work with great software. I can see myself changing technology. Festivals are a lot of fun. We get to learn a lot about culture, from Goku last to me, to even Korean Republic Day. Here, we have the NCC, Scouts and RSP. If you are an NCC, you get to go gliding in Nasik, micro light flying in Karakwasla, and rifle shooting in Oran. Scout boys are physically fit, mentally alert, and morally strong, with greater vision and full of adventure. A scout is pure in thoughts, words, and deeds. Nowadays, the real test is in knowing how to manage the traffic. If not, for the rest safety patrol or RSP, your school bus will still be stuck in traffic. There's so much we have done to save the environment. We have conducted 
various sapling plantation programs and have even sent a petition to the Prime Minister of India to save the tiger. I used to think that movie making was difficult, but after I joined the Film Appreciation Club, I could understand the process. I want to get into special effects. And I want to become a director. Dancing is a passion and we get to learn it during our school hours. It refreshes our mind and while dancing, we feel stronger, fitter and flexible. In karate and kickboxing, we learn self-defense and discipline. The feeling of security and safety has increased. And I know that my greatest opponent is myself. Yoga makes us strong and flexible and a teacher makes it fun and interesting. Violin is most difficult. That's why it's called king of instruments. But in Suzuki violin, we find it easy to learn as we are taught in an easy way. We get to perform at concerts at the NCPA. Now we don't have stage fright when we are performing. In the EXIT program, we get to learn through field trips and experiments. Now I know how to identify insects and even draw them. So what we are all up to is basically we are working on the Jesuit certificate program, which we call the JCP. It's an initiative that the school and a bunch of us ex-students came up with which is to find a way to add to the existing SSE curriculum. So finding a way to create men who can think and men who can be there for others. So both from an intellectual and a social point of view, we want our kids to be able to apply what they learn. What's an example of that? Let's say they learn about how bodies float in water. We'll actually use that to help them to get to understand how to design, let's say, a submarine. Or they understand Bernoulli's principle, they'll figure out how to actually design the wing of a plane. And when you do that, they begin to fall in love with the subject and maybe they'll want to learn it for the rest of their lives. The idea behind the JCP is to be able to bring a world-class education that takes the best from all curricula, add it to the SSE curriculum and help our students get that irrespective of their socio-economic backgrounds. And that's what we're trying to do here. In JCP, they follow the suggestions of the students and teach us things that we would like to learn. With the help of JCP, we feel that we are now equal to the ICSE and CBSE students. Every Friday, there are tests held for the 10th standard students. This helps us a lot. It also helps us in bringing 90% and above in the board exams. Social service is very important because Tanish lights don't only care for themselves. We have also had interesting ideas in how to keep our city clean. And in this way, we spread the messages to create awareness. When you look back on the journey that Stanislaus, you can't help but feel proud to be a Stanislite. Stanislites are born for greater things. So I think I speak for all Stanislites when I say, you can take the boy out of Stanislaus, but you can't take Stanislaus out of the boy. Stanislaus has a way of bringing you back to connect with the school. And giving back to the alma mater has been a prime focus of the alumni. And particularly to the teacher that helped mold us in our initial years. Since Stanislaus High School is a public school with government aid, and yet can be compared to any other private school in the country. Every Stanislite is born for greater things. At Stanislaus, we want to create curriculum that is holistic, curriculum that will put our students on par with students of other boards. St. Stanislaus must be globally visible and that is our dream.